Hey guys, Ryan from ironmartialartsonline.com. We're going to do some of our hand training today in our outdoor uh, training studio. So let's go ahead and get to it. So to train along, which is always the best practice, you can just have a bucket of sand to start. Uh, we will move on to the rocks after. That's kind of like the next uh, step up, um, which is not impossible. It's just a little bit rougher uh, on the hands. And as always, you can, so for this level of training, you can just do uh, ice, ice soaks, uh, ice to heat alternating like a circulation bath. After doing this for a few minutes with us, you could just have a bowl of ice water and a bowl of hot water and go back and forth like 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. That would be fine for our purposes for um, hand tempering at this level. When you start talking about uh, breaking bricks with the palm and iron palm and all that on the palm, then you need to really get herbal training liniment um, and really the classic, the best through China and, and lots of Asian countries have their own version is a Ditta Jiao. And Ditta Jiao, um, you can just look it up, D-I-T-D-A-G-O, I'm sorry, J-O-W. And so you can look up Ditta Jiao online um, but that's when you start getting into the iron palm and the breaking stuff. But for this level, if you're just doing this exercise today for protecting your hands, you can get away with what I just said, what we have students do, which is the ice and the heat bath, 20 seconds each for like maybe three or four minutes, you know? Okay, there we go. So you got your bowl, your, rather your, you could even be on the beach and just do it right on your knees on, you know, and just get into, um, either a low stance on your knees or in this case in a bucket, you know, like a modified horse stance, that's fine. Let's go. All right, we're just gonna start with claw. Deep breath in, always breathing from Dan Tian right below the belly button, right? And so you're filling that belly and breathe out every time. Here we go. So you're just going in, as you go in, you're squeezing. So you're not just going in like dead hand like this. That's something else. What we're going in is squeezing. This is dynamic, all right? So you're squeezing in as you shoot in, all right? And just settle into it and enjoy it. You do this enough years and honestly, it becomes like a type of, um, the road is a little busy out by our outdoor studio today. Um, it becomes like a moving meditation. So it's kind of cool. Going good? Your stance is everything, right? So if it's hard, you you know, you can just stand up and but you really want to work, might as well kill two birds with one stone, which is why you always typically are in a modified horse stance, you know, staying low and, and feet out wide if you can, okay? And enjoy it. We're going in for another minute. Now this last minute, really focus on getting the breath in the Dan Tian, the base of the stomach, okay? No chest breathing, no breathing from the chest, right? Good. Enjoy it. Good. 
her sand. We can also go ahead, we can shoot in, all right? We can shoot in with five fingers, strike like this, five fingers pressed together. Five fingers pressed together, right? You get that, that's not hard. And so what you're gonna do now, same thing from your modified horse stance, right? Um, because we are in on a low table here. You can go ahead and you can now shoot in five fingers like so, and you're gonna go drive in, and then you're going to go ahead and open the hand inside the sand. So this is an eccentric exercise. Uh, quick reminder, eccentric, right? You have the weight, concentric, is doing the typical motion we think of as like the tough lift or whatever. So like concentric, like that. Eccentric is the relax phase, right? So now you're just doing the same thing. Instead of going in like this, Shoot in and go out. Shoot in and go out like that. In, under the sand, open. All right, if you're indoors, just um, be aware this gets like a little messier because the sand can fling a little bit more. So if you have like a bucket of sand and you do your training, probably best outside. Um, okay. This is actually so much harder because it's so counter and people want to explode like this when they go to grab something. This, this motion has been um, driven into your brain for years, trying to grab and pick things up through life. But going in like this and exploding outward is, is it's like as much a mental exercise as it is a, a tempering hand exercise, so. Keep resetting your sand there. And the sand is nice because it offers a type of resistance that you can't get the depth with the rocks. Um, and so it's not that sand is like for kids and rocks are for like the adult tough training. They each serve like a different purpose. That's like a common misconception is people think like you get good at this, you forget about this part forever and you just work on this. But that's actually not true. Okay, another minute. Good job, keep going. All right, almost there. Good job guys for this first part. We got just another two, three minutes to go and we'll finish and then you guys are all set for this training piece. Shout out to a couple of our New online subscribers from West and East Africa. Very cool. Happy to see Iron Martial Arts alive there. All right, so that's the eccentric. In, open up. In, open up. In, open up. In, open up. It's just the reverse, but it's actually harder. Now, we move over here. All right. And these are just training tennis balls. We don't need these. Okay, and from here, Kind of an awkward angle here for our video, but bear with us. Same thing, I'm kind of in a modified horse stance because these, you know, um, uh, these basins are at different heights, right? And we just have regular like gravel, crushed rock. 
right? That's all you need, nothing fancy, that will do it. And so now we're gonna do the same thing, okay? It's a million things you can do with this, but the purposes of this video today, um, we're gonna go ahead and just repeat the first drill, which was to go in and to grab. So you're just going in, shooting in, um, and that's pretty much it, okay? So here we go. So you can make it as hard or easy as you want. If you go soft, like when we have, you know, like, you know, younger students, right? They're not really killing it. They're kind of doing this and grabbing and picking up and letting go. That's fine. You can, you know, tempering is walking yourself into it. You don't have to go zero to a hundred. So but you should be able to hear and feel the contact with the fingertips as you shoot in. Can also change the pace at which you go. Eventually, you want to get to the point that you're like dominating your basin. It's like your playground. You're not, you're no longer wincing from the sting on the fingertips. You're just owning the whole thing. It's, this is like your little playground in here. Yeah, be careful of the side. You might get a little cut up on this, depending on what you use, because you're shooting in. I'm trying to stay low for the angle of the video, but that's pretty much it. Um, there are other ones you can do. I'll just, I want to do too much in the same video, but I'll just mention the classic palm heel strike, right? You can go ahead and you can practice that. Again, like half speed before you start going crazy. Bent fingers, thumb always glued at the side. And you can just start halfway like that. Before you start really, you know, um, working it. So there it is, hand training. If you don't have anything else, you can use just the circulation bath, ice water, hot water, ice water, hot water, 20 seconds each for a few minutes. If you do other stuff, um, and this is just review for you, then go get your dit de gel and uh, use your training liniment now. And that's it. We'll see you next time.